China is not the easiest place to get to. But is it worth it? Let's find out. We're Cindy and Eddie, and this is Squeezy Bay. We are starting today's journey at the Nakhon Sawan train station, heading towards the town of Chai Na. The train doesn't actually go to Chai Na, so we have to change our transportation in Ban Tak Li. If you're taking this trip, keep in mind this might be a little expensive. Moving from here, see here, see this bush? It's a bird. And this is the train station we're at. This is the train station waiting area, but we need to catch a grab to get us to our next city. Grabs were not available, so we managed to negotiate with a local taxi driver for a reasonable price. We decided we wanted to stay at the Bank Resort, which is just a short ways away from the highway. The Bank Resort is tucked back behind the road just a little bit, which gives it a little bit of privacy, but it's still close enough to the main road that you can get into town fairly easy if you are on a bike or if you have a car. Since we walk everywhere, it's about an hour walk, so we might have to get a taxi to get where we need to go. Follow the sign to check in. We're going to go check in right now. We really like these prices, but we really love these chalets. We've been given chalet number three. Let's take a closer look and see how awesome these are. This place is so adorable. Massive bathroom. I think we're really going to enjoy our stay here. We are all settled in and now we're going to go out into town and look for some food, see what kind of activities they have available for us to explore. Before we get too far, we're actually gonna grab some food right along the river. Right behind that house is the Chow Fraya River. And we are here at this restaurant to grab some food. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. We pointed this one out because somebody else had it and it looked good. I wanted to try it. And they were talking about the noodle. Macaroni. 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 So we decided to try this one also because it looks pretty amazing. So we're gonna give these a shot and we'll let you know how they are. Cindy's gonna try hers first. How is it? Really good. It has a tomatoey, zesty flavor to it. I think they grilled all the seafood before they put it into the macaroni and the sauce. So. I'm gonna give mine a shot. Seasoned chicken. It's really good. There's definitely chilies in there, but it's not really spicy hot, but it is seasoned. I'm enjoying that. We're gonna dig into these. And we're going to continue on with the video. That was so delicious. We've got more coming up. Based off the size of this bridge, this looks like a very busy intersection. I think China is a popular tourist destination, if not a transit location. There's a lot of people crossing the Chow Phraya River here. We're certainly enjoying the walk along the river. This city seems to have a lot going on. We are enjoying exploring it. found this adorable restaurant and decided to have one of their more traditional breakfast style meals. They dropped off what looks like two little teacups. Let's look inside. Yes. This is a complimentary tea. We've just received some coffees and our eggs. Eggs come in a cup here. Their soft cooked eggs and our bread to go with it is coming in a minute. We've got two roti breads, two eggs, two teas, and two coffees. These are the kinds of coffee that we like that has the sweetened condensed milk at the bottom. We stirred it in already, so that's what it looks like now. What do you think of the eggs? Nice, soft cooked, and I love them that way. Awesome. We enjoy roti, and this has sweetened condensed milk swirled over top of it, so it's really good. Definitely enjoy that. I'm more of a roti person and she's more of an egg person. So I think we've got a good breakfast here. Uh, we're gonna dig in and then we're gonna go explore this town a little bit. Breakfast was delicious. Oh, that was great. And they are so friendly there. I think we definitely wanna come back to this town specifically and come to this coffee shop yes. because they were so friendly. They're so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody in this area is just being amazing to us. Okay. We saw the cat in a bag and had to stop and say hi. Missing our, our cat right now. Ooh, we just came up on the first intersection inside of town and this is what we are wow. seeing. Check that out. 
amazing street art. And then right across the street, there's another one. Here's the artist and the year it was painted right there. And there's another one right over here on this wall. We're gonna tell you a little bit more about where we're at in just a second. There's another one right over here. We had no idea there was so much street art here. That's the date. So these are all fairly recent. The whole reason we wanted to come into this area where we were lucky enough to find that street art is the Posse Sung Market. We're just gonna walk around a little bit and explore. And show it to you. We do want to note that when we're walking through the meats area, sometimes you'll find an area that is strongly odored with fish. It's actually not too bad. All that fish smells really fresh. Really, very so fresh. It's not a pungent odor. Let's go into the dry goods section. And it looks like the market extends out on the street just a little bit too. She's actually cooking some breakfast items, which looks pretty good. So it's like they have a breakfast lunch area so you can grab some food while you're here. Another thing to note, the temperature is actually pretty nice considering that it does get really warm here and we were just out in the sun. It's nice to be here in the shade. There's definitely a lot of stuff to get in here. On our way up, we found this little store that has hot sauce. For 60 baht, you can buy a bag of it, and we really want to take some, but we're traveling full time, so we can't take it with us. We wanted to show you where it is real quick. Cindy's talking to him right now. That way, if you're in the area, you can come and get some for yourself because it's really good. This is the shop here. They make all these little spicy flavorings that you can add to your meal. They do have these large bins. You can choose how much you want to get or come and get one of these prepackaged. These are the 60 baht sizes. This one uh, is different price. Uh, this one is 12 baht. 12 baht? Yeah, and this one 20 baht. 20 baht. And what's your name? Talese. Talese. Yeah. This is Talese's mother. She was kind enough to offer us a couple of waters. So she was helping us stay hydrated as we're walking around town. It's really nice meeting you, Talese. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you too. How much are your banana? Ten. Oh, five for ten. Wow, that's even better. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, thank you. They have a banana table here. Her and her husband and they're grilling on these grills. Three grills. They look good. It's slow right now, so they're only doing a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. And here we are. Our bananas to go. Awesome, she was kind enough to give us a couple extras. We're gonna go around the corner with this real quick so we can get, get some shade. Sun. Look at all these tuk-tuks that are here. It's good to know. So this is where we're gonna get our ride back to our hotel yeah. farm. We're gonna use that for future reference. <gasps> okay, so there's a little cart here that we're gonna use to hold us up while we try these bananas. That's the banana on a stick. And I've got one oh, too. <laughs> Yeah, we really enjoy roasted bananas. It's been a while since we've had it. It has been a while. They're so good. These, These are ones. Amazing. These are, I they're think they're really slow roasted, sweet, really good. And they are just grilled to perfection. Yeah. Yummy. So we're, we're gonna dig into this and then we're gonna head up the street just a little bit, show you the rest of the town. Walking through town, we saw this beautiful antique and had to say hello to the owner. This is the owner of this beautiful and well-maintained Volkswagen Beetle. Really nice to meet you. Thank you. Hello. Two pennies. We made it over to where the Watsons is. From here, we're actually going to turn towards the river and take a walk along the river. That way we can get some shots of that and head back towards our hotel. Of course, we had to stop and get some coffee when we found this delicious looking coffee shop. This is the paper plane and let's see what it tastes like. It's really good. Awesome. Kind of like a smoky chocolate, really smooth and milky. So that's definitely a winner for us. Part of our struggle as we're walking around is we got to deal with traffic. Because cars and 
Motorcycles have a tendency to be really loud, especially when you're walking along the busy streets. The other thing is when it does start getting hot, it makes it really difficult to walk around in a town. So I hope this isn't making it feel like this video is being rushed. We're definitely not rushing. We're trying to make sure we get as much information about this town as possible. However, what we are discovering is this is not really a touristy kind of a town. It's more of a residential, more natural Thai town. Most of the people here are amazingly friendly. I think that is the most rooster looking rooster we've ever seen. Basically, we do enjoy this town, but because it's not a tourist town at all, it's definitely a Thai local community. Yes. So we're definitely digging it here. It's a different feel and a different vibe and we're just loving and having a fun time exploring it. Yeah, but there's not really a whole lot of touristy stuff to no. see here. So no, not at all. We're gonna have to close this out pretty we've, quick. Yeah, we've heard there's a bird park up the road. We're on a budget, so we're not gonna be paying any fee to go into any park. So would we recommend this town to visit? Yes, if all you wanna do is relax and not stress about anything. Touristy stuff, sorry, keep moving. And make sure you have transportation. That's you? Oh, it's you. Hello. We got one of those and one of these, and we're going to be taking them away. Awesome. Some bean sprouts, vegetable only. Ah, ah this is all vegetarian. Uh, coconut, coconut and awesome. sugar, hot pepper. They've been selling this for 40 yeah. years. Thai own style. Oh, it's a Thai style. Yes. Okay. Put it over there. Done. Okay. So one is soft and one is crispy. Like this one is the one that's more like an omelet. It's very soft yes. and delicious. This other one over here was the crispy one. They have the same filling inside though. All ready to go. Awesome. Thank you so much. One was 20 and the other was 25. And there they are. This crew does a good job here and we're really, really glad to have been able to stop by and get some of their food. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to eating that later on. We're not hungry yet, but we're gonna be hungry later when we get back. There's toilets. I knew we'd find them. Looks like we found a little river walk park something or another. By the way, this pier comes out to where the river is. They have a restaurant or something or two. Let's take a look down those stairs and see what it is. That's a restaurant. And then they've got a couple others that are moored up to it. But there's a restaurant you can sit there and eat on the river or just come over here and enjoy the view because this is pretty fantastic. Of course, there's lots of seating. Google Maps also says that this is where the walking street market area is at night. We won't be able to be here tonight to show you that, unfortunately. But keep that in mind if you're in town. I think this area might be famous for its bird watching. And that takes us back to this street. We decided we wanted to find a cab and head home so we can eat that meal we just purchased. This is the food we have. We're gonna dig in and try it out. Wow, that's really tasty. Overall, it's pretty good. Plus all the vegetables inside are really fresh and they're crispy. And I think that I would definitely get that one again. I love the coconut with the peanuts and all the flavors, bean sprouts even, they just all work together for a really, really nice combination. I definitely think we're in agreement. It has definitely been a fun day walking around this town, really relaxing, had some good food, I met some really amazing people. That's it for now. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned as we continue to travel around Thailand and the rest of the world. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.